Yep. Back out. Sunday afternoon. Afternoon. This time, bit of a different, uh, bit of a different little wander. Just a, a quick wander where I was brought up as a child. Used to come up here every weekend. Sometimes through the week. In the summer holidays, we were here permanently. So it's a, uh, it's a little nostalgic walk down memory lane. Normally drive through, just drive straight through, and, uh, and that's it. You don't hang about, but we used to walk for miles. You know, and I think about it. As kids, we used to walk for absolute miles and miles. Still doing it now, like, but you know what I mean. We must have been fit little kids, like. Anyway, I'll show you around. Have a little bit of nostalgia trip, and. Uh, Hopefully have a few laughs along the way. Don't want to get too dark. Keep it light. Over there in the very far distance. Holy Island. Lindisfarne. And this is it. It's the path down to Budal Bay. From the road I parked up, I went up the top of there and all the way down. A park there, just to add a few miles on like. Plus I don't know what the parking's like in the village, so best not upset the locals. So I used to be one of them. I used to be one of the locals. Right. We'll get this little path done and we'll be down on the beach. And one of the earliest memories I've got of coming here is we'd stay stayed Bambra, my grandma's grandparents, come walking down here. It was me, my mum and dad, my sister, and we'd just gather stones, gather shells, skim stones and that in the water. All this is cut off by the tide when it comes in. It comes in really high, the tide. You've got to be careful around here. But this beach is vast. It's always been a bit of a mystery, the beach. This I've always, I've always thought of it as a like a bit of a scary beach, you know, because you hear all these stories. Whirlpools and high tides. <laughs> How true that is. I've swam here before, like, plenty of times. I've never had any bother. I think it's just all talk. Keep the kids away. But it just goes on forever, this beach. See them? Kite surf, board surfing. Kite board surfing. That's the hobby we want. Don't care if it rains. You want it to be windy. It's actually the perfect hobby for me. <laughs> Wild camping's gone. Out there is the Farn Islands. You go there on a boat. It's to the side of it there. That's well. That's where I'm headed. The Stag Light Bamber Lighthouse. Stag Light, as we call it. This 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 beach is vast. It's like it's very clean as well. Here is bird nesting areas. I've got some of it fenced off. Birds nesting. Woo! I used to come fishing here. This is like an estuary over there. When the tide goes out, it's like an estuary left. And um, what you do is you come when the tide's coming in and you fish it then because all the fish are coming in. They get flat fish, flatties. I've caught loads of flatties there. I took a barbecue once, me and a friend. And we were caught, we caught about four or five great big flatfish. Couldn't believe the size of them. Got them on the barbecue, cooked them up, bosh. That was about 15 years ago, that. But we used to come here as kids, and my cousins used to walk around with tent poles, you know, with the spikes on the end, and just walk in the, in the surf and spike them, spike the flatties, catch them that way. It's mad just to pull great big fish out of the water just there, just at the surf. Amazing. A long time ago that though. You know, it's more than 40 years ago. God.
this way I'll have to come back up there. But that's alright. It's rushing in. Really flying. Get cut off there as well. Remember coming here for a picnic with my sisters? I must have been 10 years old and there were smoking tabs. <laughs> my mum and dad didn't know. Well, they must have known. I was shocked. I was highly shocked. Yeah, I don't know. Wow, oh, it's hard walking on the sand. It's like sinks. Sinky sand, we used to call it. Pretty much does as it says. Now I've got to climb up here. Normally you could walk right the way around there, like the tide goes right out for miles, but it also comes in really high. But you can't find a few of these. <laughs> Loads of them on the beach. Seagulls must get them. But if you see, when the tide goes out, there's little pinholes in the sand. You pour some salt down the pinhole and they pop up and you've got to be quick and grab them. Razor clams, that's how you catch them. Right, I'll put this down because I've got to climb into these rocks here. That's where we always used to come, we used to walk from, from my grandma's. And this is in Barnborough, yeah, all the way down, along the top of this road. Get to this point here, there's a golf course there. Come down the hill and then away along where I've just been really. It was always a deep mystery. I don't know, it was a funny place. Now it's just like any other. The magic's gone, isn't it, from when you were a kid? Not really. I love it, mate. I love hopping around on rocks and rock pools and that. Oh, your time's limited now, like. But you know, you can bring the grandkids here. I used to bring my kids here times. That's the lighthouse. Interesting story about that lighthouse, I'll tell you about it when we get around there. It was built in 1833, which is about 25 to 7. Everything's built at that time, isn't it? 25 to 7 must be like the time to start building in them days. And so I get cut off, I'll have to go all the way back around. So I'm cut off. I remember swimming in this when I was little. God, I was mad. Swimming in it. it can get rough here. I've seen these, I've seen these waves battering these rocks before. I'm gonna have to go around. Go this way. Do a bit of rock jumping. Ugh. God, doing this for 40 years. 40 years hopping on these rocks. That's it. I'm ruined. Oosh. Uh, funny little channel in it. Remember coming here with my mum, uh, my dad, and my sister. We found a lobster under there. We couldn't get it. We were either too scared or it was buried in deep. Prime lobster spot, though. Right, we've got the lighthouse. Me and my cousins were proper adventurous. We used to come when it was high tide, swim in this. It used to be really deep. I was doing mad like. Probably no fear whatsoever. The waves would be crashing over there and we'd be like, way swimming about in it. Crazy. Anyway, I've done a bit of research. This was actually built in 1910, which is 10 past seven. So they must have been late getting up that day. It was built by Trinity House. Obviously to keep the ships away from the rocks. There's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of wrecks as well out there. Divers love coming here, there's loads of wrecks in there. Like between here and the Farne Islands, there's a lot of rocks, a lot of shallows. Of course, that brings shipwrecks. Not so much these days, it's not much of a shipping channel now, but long ago it was. 
So I'm going to hop up to the hop up to the lighthouse, and then we'll have a look at the other side. Little interesting fact on the other side, which I'm proud of. So I won't disturb them. But the fact of this is, this is the lighthouse here. Look at the face. Ooh. And then, if you look down there, that, that picture of a stag. Been there as long as I know of. And according to history, long before I used to come. Done by the. I think it was the lighthouse keepers, they say it was a local artist did it. Um, and there was to, because they saw a white stag once crossing the beach in the lighthouse because it used to be manned. Um, so they drew that on there, nobody really knows. But the interesting fact is my granddad, Thomas, used to be paid by Trinity House to paint that. They used to paint the lighthouse. And then he would get the job of painting the stag because he was a local character. So from about 1968 maybe up to about 1979 he was the one painting that and he got and he got too old, bless him. I'm just having a break on the chair, Foreign Islands there. I'll be closed. And then this is my ultimate destination, the castle, the fairy tale castle. Just got a few facts about that as well. Interesting facts. I'm going to go into the village as well. I'll show you where my grandparents used to live and where I used to spend my summers. In fact, most weekends, even in the winter, we used to come out. It was, it was dire in the winter. So three people used to come. That was us. The kids having a great time in the water there, aren't When it gets rough here, that water comes over the top of there. <laughs> See that? That's a good sight. Oh, sniffles. It's hot. Three with seven. Look at seven. This is the bit of the beach where I used to spend the most time on. This is just coming through the back of the castle, through the back from my grandma's onto the sand. Squeaky sand. <laughs> Squeaky sand. come on the beach. So we used to come out and we grind down this path along there and on the beach. It's never really changed. I fenced it all off. We used to be able to climb all over that. When we were kids we were climbing all over this. They don't let you know like like I say that was I'm thinking 45 years ago when we used to come here as kids. I always remember it with all the ivy. And we used to say there was loads of black widows in the ivy. Terrify ourselves. <laughs> black widows, you know. I'm sure we found a few. Yeah, we used to climb up there. I was up there, climbing, climbing. Hopped over the wall, free entry. Crazy daredevils. Obviously it's all fenced off now for them very reasons I would have thought. Oh, there we used to, we used to go up the side of there, on there, hop up onto that bit, onto there and then up over that wall. Brilliant. Used to spend many that hour here watching the cricket. This was burnt down the original one, this is like 
it was rebuilt this in the 80s something. But I always remember the there was these great big rollers. And we always used to try and move them. That. I used to try and move that exact one there, because there's the other ones there. That's the exact one. Maybe cousin used to try to shift 45 years ago. Trying to roll the pitch. She couldn't even move it. There used to be tennis courts there. All the sheds there with all the tennis stuff in. My granddad used to be the caretaker. Quite a history. There it is. All its glory. Pavilion over there. Back in the, in the village now. That used to be the police house. Um, I think he was called Eddie, the police, policeman, local policeman. My dad knew him. They always used to put me in the cells to teach us not to be a bad lad. Didn't work, did it? Just smoking about. Put them in the cells. Uh, put you in the cell. Across the road. The work. Totally changed. Used to be called the Fox Hunters Bar. You went in. You went in up there. It's totally different now. There's no bar there. This beer garden, these were all metal tables. Again, my granddad used to paint them. <laughs> the odd job, man. The Lord Crew Hotel. It's the same sign. I used to work here. 1988, I think. 88 or 89, I worked here. It's a bar now, in there. It's a little bar. Worked here with my dad. Let's shut. Aye. Everywhere's shut. Shame. Could have fancied a pint like. Gonna go up into the into the village, through the back. Back at the post office. To have a bit of explore around the back where I used to knock about. Sweets in there. So if you come along here, it's totally different now. We used to just go in and hang about, and the woman would give a load of sweets just to get rid of her, really. Up right this back alley here. I bought my first car from here, down there. It was parked there. It was a Morris Marina, bottle green, 1981. Cost a hundred quid. I took it for the MOT, and the lad said, "Ooh, you shouldn't be driving that. It's rotten." <laughs> Salt air killed it. <laughs> so that was my very first car. Should have been my last of the ones I've had so far. I think this this come for it smells awful. We used to knock about down here, maybe cousins. These were all old derelict barns. I think the houses now. This has never changed, like. I must say, right, this is really, really um, quite emotional because this along there, it's not along there. It's never changed. Look, these sheds are still the same. I'm telling you, right, they have never changed in 50 years, them sheds. And look, you know, derelict barns. And there's the pigeon loft. We used to knock about, we used to get in there. Oh, pigeon loft. My dad used to say, Different come in there, it's bloody monkey. So, of course, straight in. Any more I like. Come all the way down here. This is where I mean, a big, massive old tractor tire there. So I was trying to shift it, could never move it. Up the steps, these steps are the same. Hey, lad. This is my grandma's street. It's never changed. It's exactly how it was. St. Cuthbert's Goth. 
Grandma's house, number eight, Lindisfarne Avenue. That was Winnie. But that, you see the round window there? That was the bedroom we used to stay in. That one. Oh dear. It's never changed. Like it's never changed. How emotional is that at the minute? Was there, I can't remember the name of the neighbours, but he ran the local garage. Right, yeah. I wonder who lives there now. If only they knew the history. Oh dear. This was the local girl I used to fancy, I used to live here. Lucy, I think she still lives in Barbara. She have seen her working in the pub. I used to chase her. <laughs> Puppy still lives there. That house there, look at that. 1903. Five past seven that was built. It's getting all of that joke now, isn't it? Come round from the house. I'm now at the church. Just two minutes away, like. So I'm gonna go in there. Well, not in the church, I don't think it'll be open. It's a shame because it's lovely inside there. I might just cross this road. Sounds noisy in here, doesn't it? We're in the graveyard, you know. So if you come around the back of the church to the quiet bit, you come here. I got really emotional back there, like, <laughs> had a little moment. days you know there's just always happy times here all gone forever so if you just to see you, I'm here, be like, oh, not him again. <laughs> uh, look, behind them, strange, is Winnie, the, the neighbour I was just on about. 2007, she died. God, I remember when the husband died. Oh, I remember coming here, this was an awful, dark. 1983, it was chucking it down with rain, everybody was here. It was just an absolute awful day. It would be one at a funeral. Been coming here since though. I've been coming here regular since. I couldn't get any flowers. I was going to bring some flowers. I couldn't bring any. Put in the, um, there's a little, little vase in there. Should be buried in there. But that headstone needs to be lifted out. Anybody knows how to do that? It should be like that one there. It's got a plinth. It's digging out. Straightening up a bit. There is Grace Darling's grave. Grace Darling, the heroine. I showed you the cottage before where she died. She didn't die out to sea. She came back. They got her back onto land and she died from pneumonia. Not from the um, drowning or anything. A lot of people think she drowned, but she didn't. It's a lovely church, this mind. It's just now. It's very, very sad for me coming here. There's all the people. There's only my mum and my sister left, really. We used to come here. All my aunties and uncles, like my grandma and granddad's kids, all dead. All of them. 
my mum's the only one left really. And there's there's an auntie down in Leicester. She was my dad's brother's wife. But the Wardle family is more or less wiped out now. That generation anyway. It's cheery, isn't it? But you know, we've still got the memories. We've still got the memories of the grave. And we'll come here quite often. I bring my mum here quite a lot. Obviously she's not travelling at the minute. But she likes to come down, put some flowers on. Church. Ah. I'm just heading back now. So I think I've done about I think I've walked about four and a half mile just around this little village. I think I'm just gonna End it here, as I'm just heading back the way I came really. Tide's up, so I'm hoping to go up high over the rocks. I'm gonna go back that way, just round that. It's quite a, about a mile and a half still to go like, but it's just the same scenery, there's no new. Whew, so enjoyed that. I'll just see you for the next one.